Hello all, welcome back to my making of for Misfortune's Arcade Skin from League of Legends. Last video I took you through how I made the waistcoat, skirt, and basically everything from here down. If you missed that one, we'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. This video I'll show you how I made the headphones, hat, and wig. So here we go. Since Misfortune's hair has this three color gradient, I decided to start with a white wig and dye it myself. I used a Snow White Ororo from Outer Wig Silky Line and one pack of wefts. I started by straightening it, then sewed most of the extra wefts in for added thickness and kept the remainder to make the hairline and part. Next, I gathered all the hair into loose braids just to keep a better handle on everything during the dyeing process, which actually turned out to be a mistake and I'll show you why in a bit. I used Jacquard's I Dye Poly in pink, violet and turquoise. Here's a little tip when using dye that comes in these water soluble packets. If you don't need all of the pigment, just put it in as a block bag. That way you can use what you need and save the rest for future projects. Don't forget to label them. Now this is where it became evident that braiding the wig was a bad idea. Since the fiber wasn't allowed to move freely in the bath, the dye didn't penetrate to the center of the braids, which led to this strange but kind of cool marbled effect. Fortunately, it was an easy fix. I just undid the braids and re-dyed it. then finished out the gradient. I styled the rough shape of the bangs and used steam and hairspray to set the shape. Since this wasn't a lace front, I used the remaining wefts to make a glued hairline to mask the edge of the wig. After that, I finished styling the bangs, and then cut and layered the length, and added some curls. To make the little blue barrette thing, I painted a scrap of 2mm AVA foam and attached it to a bobby pin. And it was finished. Next, I started by 3D modeling the headphones and printing them out. I was working on the headphones of Remy's arcade ribbon at the same time, so you can see bits of those pop up as well. Next came lots of sanding, priming, and more sanding. Then I airbrushed them with auto paint. I cut the pads from the ear cups from some squishy foam I had and shaped them to mimic those of real headphones. Then sewed covers for them from a soft knit and glued them to the foam. Assembly was pretty easy. I just glued the pads to the inside of the frame and the ear cups to the outside. And finished! I made a model of the hat in Blender, then unfolded it in Pepicure Designer so I could have a pattern to work from. I printed it out and cut and assembled all the pieces. It took me a few tries to get the size and shape just right. Once I was happy with the paper model, I drew cut lines and cut it apart, then transferred the pieces to paper. I used 5mm thick EVA foam for the crown and 10mm for the bill. Since I wanted to make the cover from spandex, I reinforced the hat with buckram in order to help it hold its shape. Turns out this wasn't necessary as the foam is sturdy enough to hold shape on its own. But it's still a great technique for other applications such as belts or armor or for use with thinner foams. Next I glued the entire crown portion together. To draft the cover pattern, I covered the hat in masking tape, drew out the seams, and cut it apart. I used metallic and rubberized spandex to make the cover. Before putting the cover on, I added a layer of fleece to hide any seams or surface imperfections I didn't want showing through the spandex. Then it was just a matter of putting it on and gluing it in place. Next was the bill. 
I added some buckram along the inside to secure it to the hat, then painted it white so the black wouldn't show through the white spandex. Now, I wanted to mimic the bill construction on real snapback hats, so I tried to use a similar process when covering the foam. I top stitched along the edge on the top and bottom, covered the front edge, then glued everything in place. I really like the gold hat band seen in the splash art, so I cut a strip from 2mm EVA foam, covered it with spandex, and finished it with some top stitching. I thought the 8-bit heart was super cute and would be even more adorable if it were three-dimensional, so I cut the outline and face from EVA foam and airbrushed it a pearlized pink. I used rubberized spandex for the lighter pink, which I also airbrushed. Then it was time to put it together. This is definitely the cutest thing I have ever put on my head. And that is it for part two of this series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If so, leave us a like and a comment. We would love to know what you think. In the next video, I will show you how I made her guns. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. And until next time.